welcome back to my channel for a super easy, quick, fun, simple video today. As you probably know, I somehow became like the subscription box girl. And within my lifetime, I think I've unboxed over 150 different boxes. <laughs> so naturally, all the time people ask me, hey, what are your favorite boxes since you've opened so many? And I actually did a blog post highlighting a few of my favorites. Shout out to my blog. A lot of people don't know that I have a blog. I'll link it down below if you've never checked it out before. But I think probably with holidays ramping up and around the corner, I have been getting this question more and more and more and more. So I'm just going to quickly explain to you my top 10 favorite boxes out of the 100 plus that I have opened, why they're my favorite, and I have a discount code for I think almost all of these down below. This video is not sponsored. Some of these links are affiliate links, meaning I make a small commission of the sales, which helps support my channel, but nobody's asking me to make this video. And I also wanna say that I am actually very picky. I get really excited opening subscription boxes, but I have a very high standard of aesthetic that very few boxes actually meet. I want my boxes to to not only be high quality and have amazing products inside, but just be a really fun opening experience. And for every single thing in the boxes to be things that I would be proud to have out on my counters or on my shelves or wherever it might be. So without further ado, these are my top 10 favorite boxes of all time. First, this is not a surprise at all. Everybody knows that this is by far my favorite box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this one. But my favorite kind of like women's lifestyle box is Haas box. I have adored them for years. They are a very like ethical box and every single item inside of their boxes has a specific cause behind it. They cost $54.95 a box if you buy like season by season or if you buy the whole year up front. They are $49.95 a box and I have code Mikkel20 for 20% off. I think that that should still work. That was for their last box, but I'm hoping that it's still valid. I'm always just blown away by the quality of the products inside and how beautiful it is. And I feel like they're curated for me. Like I'm like, how did they know that I want this? It's a really good, well-rounded variety. Second, one of my personal favorites is Vela Box. This is actually a candle subscription company. I I love burning candles all the time, so I found it to be really happy and helpful whenever candles just arrive at my door every single month. And I'm really picky about scents, and somehow the scents are always incredible. <laughs> they smell so good. A lot of scents give me headaches, but theirs never do. I think all their candles are like organic soy wax. Don't quote me on that, but I know that they're very high quality, and the packaging is always so pretty. I have one on my desk right now. Like they're always just such minimalistic, but like high quality looking designs. This one's by Treehouse & Co. and it, the scent is Mist. And I get the box that has two candles a month and it also comes with like a little surprise item. And every month, both candles are from the same brand, but month to month the brand changes. And they have a ton of different like packages and size options, I think starting at $10 a month. And I do have code Mikkel5 for $5 off your first box if you use the link below. Next is a men's box. I feel like there's so few good men's boxes out there. I feel like they're kind of cheesy. They're just like usually not that good. And my favorite has been Lux. Brooke actually unboxed this one with me once before. They're new. They're brand new. They're a little bit on the pricey side. They're $75 a quarter, but they always have really high quality things. <laughs> like recently I just opened their winter box and it had like the manscaped razor inside. And Brooke rarely gets excited about anything. He was like, dude, these value at so much just like 80 bucks. I've always wanted one of these. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that those were like such a big deal. And I didn't know that they valued at like 80 bucks because that's more expensive than the whole box. They recently gave me the code Mikkel Robe, which gets you 10% off of your box and a free robe, which is super duper nice. And Brooke has really enjoyed everything inside of there. It's funny, cause like I said, he never gets excited about things and he was actually really excited about all the stuff inside of the most recent one. Next, this is another small company that I've gotten to kind of know the owner just through me communicating with her and telling her how much I love her box. This is Women's Collective Box. Oftentimes they're kind of compared to Cause Box and they're very, very similar. They're like a very well curated, gorgeous packaging, woman's lifestyle box, kind of like what FabFitFun wishes it was. <laughs> I'm not a huge FabFitFun fan. <laughs> I feel like FabFitFun has kind of gotten cheesy. And like I said, I really care about aesthetics. So both CauseBox and Women's Collective Box does a really good job of having kind of that handmade, thoughtful, curated kind of feel to it. This one is 55 a box, just like CauseBox. It's a quarterly box as well. I have Mikkel 25 for 25% off of your box. And their whole thing is that every single item is from a woman-owned company, which I love that. And Rochelle, the owner, so sweet.
sweet, so kind, cute young mom. She's killing it. She's doing a really good job. Okay, the next one, this is technically another men's box, but I know that things don't really have genders. It's like geared towards men, but I've gotten a few of these boxes for myself. I feel like they're kind of more of a gender neutral brand and I really, really love them. They're a bespoke post. I got their matcha box about a year ago from them and it's been like one of my favorite things I've ever gotten. Um, they are not a subscription. They are like curated boxes that you can order one at a time. So it's really good if you want to give someone a gift or maybe have the subscription box experience without having the commitment. And they have different themed boxes. So like I said, I got the matcha one. It came with like a matcha bowl, a matcha whisk, matcha powder, maybe also like a tea towel or something. It's been a long time, but I still use that matcha bowl every single day to make my matcha at home. And the prices vary depending on which one. They're kind of like around the $50 range, but they're just so well curated. The packaging's so cute. And I have code Mikel15 for 15% off of your box. Next one, this one's kind of unique. Like I really enjoy getting this one and I'm kind of surprised how much I enjoy getting this one, but this is Simply Earth. I get it every single month. It's essentially an essential oil craft subscription box, which I know essential oils kind of have a stigma around them now, especially after like watching Unwell. And I don't use essential oils to treat anything or anything like that. I'm not into that, but I just think that a lot of them smell really good. Dog safe ones. I always have to make that claim whenever I talk about essential oils. So I have a diffuser that I love to use to diffuse safe essential oils around our house. And this box every single month sends you like six, seven different crafts. Typically you get four different essential oils and then the supplies to make different crafts, like whether it be a body lotion or a Epsom salt bath or a diffuser blend, like all different types of things. It's really, really cool. I will say that I don't often make the actual crafts, but the oils that they send are really good good and I enjoy having the oils to kind of mix things up around my house. I have code Mikel Free, which this is still crazy to me that they gave me this code. There's there's a link to use, but then it gets you a $40 gift card with your initial subscription box and a bonus box. So when you first subscribe, they send you this bonus box that's worth quite a bit that has all of the different supplies in it. So like all the carrier oils, some like wax melt, I don't know, random things that you're gonna need for upcoming crafts. And then they give you a $40 gift card to their shop, which can be used for a purchase or for a future box, which is crazy. Next is a pet box, trying to keep this well-rounded. I There's a lot of really good pet boxes, and to be honest, a lot of them feel really similar to me. One of the ones that has been my favorite is Pooch Perks. I feel like they did a really good job of high-quality toys, high-quality treats, a like good variety. They have different size boxes, so there's like the big box is $44 a month, called the Pampered Box, but there's also one that's $23 a month and one that's $21 a month that have like, some have just toys, Toys, or some have toys and a couple treats. Some have toys, accessories, and a lot of treats. But Max seemed to really enjoy all the toys and treats he got in those boxes in particular. And I have code Mikel for 15% off. Next is a jewelry subscription box. My favorite has been Penny and Grace. I do not understand how they can bring this for the price point. Like the price point is insane to me. It's only $24.99 a month, but every month the jewelry comes in this adorable, like leather looking clutch and it comes with three pieces of jewelry every single month and normally they all go together so normally it's earrings a necklace and a ring and they all match and it's like a matching set and it's so stinking cute and i feel like one of those pieces of jewelry would be worth 24.99 at least so the fact that you get three pieces of jewelry and this cute leather clutch every single month just blows my mind i've regifted some of that jewelry to friends and they just think it's the cutest thing ever wear it every single day it's so quality for the price point and i have code mikhail 20 20 where they will send you a bonus piece of jewelry. Now, my favorite like beauty box, it's funny because I've opened so many beauty boxes, skincare boxes, makeup boxes, and they all kind of like run together. You know what I mean? None of them really, really stand out. Like there's good ones, like Glossy Box was really good. But there's one that really did and it's GU Box. J-I-Y-U box. I love them. They're, they're a little bit pricey, so they are seasonal $59.99, but you get four to six full-size products, so none of those little sample sizes. I like full-size way more, and everything is all natural. They're all kind of like 
indie brands, really, really stunning things. I remember being so impressed with the value. Like the last one that I got was valued at over $224 and was beautiful glass jar moisturizers and face masks and lotions and like really good, good stuff that just one of those things made a great gift to re-gift to a friend. Like that's the level of quality. I have code Mikkel10 for 10% off and a free gift. And I, I love them. Out of all the boxes that I get, like whenever that one arrives, I get really excited to unbox it because I know I'm gonna love every product inside. I haven't had a single product that I was like, meh about. Every single one I was like, whoa. <laughs> and last but not least, this is a very niche box. And it's hilarious to me that this has been one of my favorite because I don't drink and this is a cocktail box. I don't drink at all. Don't drink alcohol, but I was blown away with the intentionality and the feel and the aesthetic of this box overall. This is called Raising the Bar and it's $42 a month. And it's essentially like a full craft cocktail kit. So I opened one actually earlier this week and it was basically a full cocktail kit to do this back to school cocktail that came with this tea that you steep the tea yourself and like this stunning concentrate that you mix in and like these dried apples for on top and this sparkling really cool cool sort of cider that you mix in. And then it also came with a couple little on theme things. So since this was like a back to school teacher type thing, it came with these pencils, but they were adorable. They had little sassy sayings engraved onto them, not in a cheesy way and like a really, really cute, fun, playful way. I feel like things like that can get cheesy really quick, but it wasn't at all. I was just blown away. So this was $42 a month. Oh, I do have a code for this one too. Wow. I had a code for every single one of these. Go me, I didn't realize that. Mikkel 10 for 10% off your first purchase. And it's so funny to me that that one stood out to me. Cause like I said, I don't even drink, but I actually re-gifted the whole thing to one of my sister-in-laws and she thought it was the coolest thing. And I was like, I know it's so cute. It's just like such a cute concept. So hopefully this was a helpful resource to you. Those were my top 10 out of all of the ones I've ever unboxed just because overall quality was amazing. I've loved the products inside. The branding was so good. The unboxing experience was so good. They've blown me away month after month. So. I hope that this is helpful to you. I love y'all with my absolute whole heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.